Okay, so this is, I think, version six of this thing, six by six. Um, there's something a little different today. Uh, just going to tease you a little bit with this. This little piece of color vomit right here is one of the axles. I built an extra one. I'm going to uh, come back with a new video and show you guys how to build these axles in the next video. So for all those people that say, why don't you put instructions out there? Well, not interested in making money off of it. I got enough money. Um, just going to make sure I share this so people can maybe build something and uh, maybe improve on the design a little bit. So here's what I did since last time. Here you got your four motors, um, dual transmission basically stolen from um, Zero Bricks Tiger 6x6. Uh, what I did was mount the motors um, at either end of the transmission inputs on both sides. Got the steering motor here, beefed up the steering a little bit and the front suspension. Um, the biggest improvements came when I put the batteries in between the back two axles. So instead of being up front and the weight being all front loaded, it's pretty nicely balanced from front to back. That meant that I had to basically move some of the gearing around for the balancing rear axles, which I'm going to show you as soon as I put the cap on. A little creative edit here, and voila, magic. Now you see the cap is on, and what that does really is act as a wire conduit. and hides all that ugly wiring for me. Uh, gives it a nice finished look, and during its many frequent rollovers, keeps it from getting carved up. A um, couple of things I'm really happy with. Let me flip it over first and show you. This is to get the batteries in the back here. I had to mount the gearing laterally instead of vertically. So there's two buoys, three O's here and there. Um, it was kind of tricky to get that in, but what I was able to do was get the whole thing to be one consistent ground clearance from front to back. So that's nice. I put this little guy in the front to help when hitting rocks, weeds, whatnot. A little cow catcher kind of thing. Um, there's the balancing front, uh, excuse me, back two axles. You can see the gearing right there as one goes up, one comes down. But let's talk about the actual suspension. So this is where it gets cool. If you look at that little triangle in there, you'll see if I pivot the transmission, uh, excuse me, the suspension left to right, you'll see the triangle kind of move laterally. And what that does is it helps me to push all the energy into this side. So when I lift up on this wheel, this one gets pushes down, as does the opposing wheel on the next axle. So when I lift this one up, that goes down. When I lift this one up, that goes down. So it gives me some really nice flexibility. Um, helps me with the basically the suspension limit. Doesn't bottom out. And here's what I think it's really cool. It's super strong. So this thing weighs about six pounds. And I'm um, putting it through its motions. Nothing is falling off of it. It is nice and sturdy. So a little bit more of that suspension. And then uh, we're going to go take this for a little ride outside. And then we'll come back next video and we'll build one. Show you guys how to build them. Uh-oh. Oh. Oh. 